Hello and welcome again to VW Feasts. And today we're going back to the most important meal of the day and having huevos rancheros. Yes, that's right, breakfast. So, for this, you're going to need some chopped tomatoes, some chilies, and we'll get back to those. Those are particularly warm, and that's going to make your sort of tomatoey sauce. You'll need some tortillas, or here we've got some corn uh, tortillas. And then for the uh, refried beans, you'll need kidney beans, some cheese, onion, and lard. So, first, a bit of a technique lesson here, and the VW is going to show us how to finely chop onions. As you can see, first of all, cut it in half and cut the uh, top off, but not the bottom. You want to keep that end there. Make some careful slices through, slices the other way, and then it's a simple matter of chopping and beautiful, finely diced onion. Good, isn't it? Um, for the garlic, well, we'll just give that a bit of a bash first, move the onions out of the way. And then the garlic again, we want to slice down, so nice slicing action, keeping the knife on the mat, on the board, and just chopping nicely, carefully avoiding putting bits of finger in there. We we'll add them together, so we may as well mix them together in the bowl. So the onions and the garlic, and now we're on to the chilies. Now these are from a chili plant. We've just bought uh, a variety of different uh, chilies on there. These look suspiciously like habanero, which are quite hot but have a sort of fruity, spicy flavour. And the others look more like uh, Thai chilies. You're going to have to learn to find out what sort of chilies you like and which ones make you bleed from the ears. These are quite nice. Uh, these are reasonably hot. We like ours hot. So back to the schmaltz, the lard, and we're just going to melt that in a pan. It does take a while. What you can consider doing is dicing it and putting it into the pan just to melt it down. Alternatively, you can use the miracle of turn the camera off Turn it back on again when you're ready. Nice molten schmaltz, and to this we're going to add our diced onions and garlic. There are a lot of recipes that start off by cooking onions. Um, and that's probably an indicator of, of the type of food that we like. But actually they form a basis of the meal. They bulk things out, they form part of the, the base. Get those nicely glistening and add in the kidney beans. Uh, strain off the juice it comes with. Um, also, we're going to add to this some dried chilies. And you can see we do like spice in everything. You will have to decide how much spice you want. And just slowly mix all those together. So we're now cooking the onions, the garlic, the kidney beans, and those dried chilies down. A little bit of water just to loosen it. And then just cook on a nice low heat. Right, when you've cooked those down nicely, we're going to get them to a consistency we can eat them. So in goes the blender. Now what here we're not we're looking for something that has a mixture of textures. So see if you can keep some of the beans completely whole still, but just get those onions nicely mixed in. So a sort of half blend here without going to a full creamy um, fully blended mixture might find that actually in your blender a couple of beans get stuck so you want to ease them back into the mixture. Then we're going to add some grated cheese and stir that in nicely. And just for Jeremy I'm going to say the word unctuous. But probably quite a good word here. Right, now to the salsa. So we're going to start off a bit more oil in the pan, and to that, once we've got it nice and hot, 
we're going to add some more onions and garlic. Now this is the point where we need to warn you that having handled chilies you want to make sure where you put your hands. The VW gently wiped her eye at this point and there was a slight interruption. So make sure after you touch chilies you wash your hands properly. In go our chilies now that the emergency has been averted after a lot of water. Again you'll get some quite interesting fumes coming off this. As a general clue if you can't stand the fumes you put too many chilies in. In goes our chopped tomatoes, a little bit of pepper. Our basic salsa. Uh, we've made quite a lot here. It's more than we need for our breakfast. You could use this, keep it in a tin, and use it for an arrabbiata, a nice sauce for pasta. Anything you want to. Don't throw it away. Leave that to simmer and reduce and just get everything softened. And we get our breads. Here are these corn tortillas that we bought um, to make some tacos a while ago, so we had them in the fridge. Uh, if you want to use um, wheat tortillas and then cut them down a bit because the very big tortillas are going to be a little bit large and then we just soften them and warm them on the pan. You can do these, cover them in a nice tea towel and they're all ready for the assembly. And that crucial element of any breakfast is the egg. Here we're going to fry one, so into a pan, get a little bit of oil. right into the pan. If you're worried about doing this, crack it into a little bowl and then pour it into the pan. Then you can make sure there's no shell in it. But if you're super confident like the VW, straight into the pan. Medium heat, too hot and the thing will cook too quickly. You'll end up with brown on the bottom and uncooked on top. Um, to help reduce that chances, flick some of the oil over the top just to make sure uh, the white on top of the egg is cooked. So it's cooked evenly through. Um, you don't want bits of uncooked egg, you don't want bits of burnt egg, but you do want a nice runny yolk. Now, the egg looks pretty perfect, so let's have my breakfast, please. So, warm tortilla, onto that goes the egg. The egg doesn't really want to go, so we'll just persuade it and stick it back somewhere a bit more beautiful. Thank you. On goes the salsa. Beautiful salsa. Ours is hot and spicy. Yours should be how you like it. And finally, a spoonful of the refried beans. And there we have it. Huevos rancheros. Enjoy. <laughs>